Hello and welcome to Smart Money with me Vivek Law and Monica Hallan. Together on this show, we will help you manage your money smartly. We'll analyze news, decode financial products and take all your questions. So let's have a quick look at what we have on the show for you this week. Are you puzzled on how to choose a good financial planner? We tell you how to go about it. RBI banned 0% interest rate schemes. What does it mean for your money? And as always, we address all your financial queries. Getting the right financial planner can set your money life on track. However, recently, we have been receiving a lot of queries from our viewers saying that they are facing problems in getting the right planner. Are you also struggling to find the right planners who can manage your money and help you achieve your financial goals? Today in our special segment, Investment Ladder, we guide you on how to make the right choice. The good news, Monica, is we've been able to at least get people to think about investing their money. But now, as we keep saying even on the show, eventually you need to go to a certified financial planner and sit with that person for quite some time and build your entire portfolio. But then comes the next question, how do I pick the right planner? What should I look for and what should I make sure I don't fall into? What's the guide there? The problem, Vivek, is that the blur line is fairly blurred between a financial planner, advisor, and a pure agent. Right? So I think first we need to understand that an agent will just push a product, mm. an investment advisor will talk about investment products, and a financial planner will give you the full uh, suite of services from uh, cash flow management, emergency funds, your debt management. So you need to separate those out. And how do you know who it is who's talking to you? Because again, the certifications are not well known. SEBI has just come out with the guidelines. We've just got 11 people who are certified. So there's a long road ahead in terms of uh, even people understanding what, what are the sort of uh, marks that you look for, what designations do you look for. So how do you understand that this person is actually not a financial planner or who is a financial planner? The first clue that you get is that a financial planner will never begin with asking you how much money do you have to invest. He will always ask you other questions about what are your cash flows like, what sort of goals do you have, how many people are there dependent on you. So it's a lot about you and your family and your goals rather than, okay, how much money do you have, boss, to invest? Hmm. You know, ek lakh hai, do lakh hai. You know, so in that sense, there's a pure difference between a person who's pushing a product and a person who's trying to build a plan for you. An investment advisor or an agent will always talk about the product first. He will come to investments straight out. A financial planner will talk about cash flow management, your borrowings, how do you service them, your insurances, and then, so investment products, are, you, you will reach them almost an hour into the conversation and not in the first five minutes. That's point number two. The third is, it's very interesting, a pure product peddler will kind of garnish and will tell you, talk about the benefits of a product. Mm. A financial pl planner, when he's, especially when he's recommending equity, will talk about the risks. So who is talking about benefits? Who's trying to give you a product clothed in the best possible terms? And who is trying to tell you what a product really does when finally you come to the investment mm. advice? And the final thing that you should look out for is a person who's peddling a product will make you feel worried because they are pay playing on your fear, your greed, your envy. A financial planner, finally, after your meeting is over, will make you feel contemplative. You will think about what he has said and much more settled, much more on top of what you think you were earlier. So those are the sort of things that, which are a uh, little obvious and little subtle that will help you distinguish between a financial planner and a product pusher. It's also important to understand the manner in which uh, you pay for these services, isn't That's it, right. Monica? Because we are all so used to the fact that none of these agents ever asked us because they got their money from the That's commissions right. that they earned. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas a financial planner would ask you for a fee. Uh, the big question is how much is this fee usually? I'm sure there's a wide range like it is in any services, but uh, is it affordable normally? I think most people will find it affordable. It's like the fees that you pay to a doctor or a lawyer. Financial planning finally is a professional service. And when you see the value of a plan, you don't mind paying fees. From what I understand, 
the fees begin from anything between 5,000 and go on all the way to 25,000 and even higher per year for construction of a plan. And there are several layers of services. You will have to choose what you want. Do you want just pure investment advice or do you want a full suite of services? I think the more services you have, the more uh, the service will cost you. And from what I understand of good planners is that charging a fee really has never been a problem because of the quality of service they offer is so good that not only do people end up paying, they also end up recommending them to their friends and mm. family. Mm. And it's uh, fairly easy to get access to some of these planners? I think that will be the difficult part. How do you get access to them? There are not too many of they are them not still too in this many. country. There are not too many. So we are hoping that that number grows. But at the moment, you will have to seek out a certified financial planner and uh, go for those services. All right, let's take a quick break here. But on the other side, we tell you whether there will be an impact on your festive buying because of RBI's ban on 0% interest rate schemes. Keep watching Smart Money. To get our expert opinion on your finances, you can send us your queries at smartmoney at btvin.com. You can also call us on 022-4098-7098. You can also SMS us. Just type SM, give a space, write your query and send it to 977-327-0010.